out. Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and it is Valentine's Day. So, uh, I have a special movie review for you all, all February long. I've been doing, uh, Valentine flicks. I'm gonna keep doing that past Valentine's Day, because some of you may still be in the mood, and all you girls say I don't do enough chick flicks. So I'm definitely going to uh, keep doing that. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day, everybody, if you're watching this today, hopefully. Um, hopefully you're not watching it right now tomorrow, if you know what I mean. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen my Valentine's uh, special edition of the A-List, make sure you go back and click that after this. This, however, is my review of the 2010 comedy Valentine's Day. How fitting, right? Uh, you see all the star power on there? I'm going to get to that in a minute. So, uh, what is Valentine's Day? Well, we all know what it is, but it's a ensemble comedy with all these people in it. Is it good, or is it a Valentine you would want to return, or not want to get from a stalker? Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get to it. It is a 2010 ensemble rom-com that sees couples breaking up and making up, I can put this down now, all because of the expectations of Valentine's Day. Wow, who would have thought? Now, usually I go into the characters and the actors who play them at this segment. Not this time, because there's too many to list. So watch the film and you'll see what characters they play. Um, but I'm going to give you a list of everyone who's in it. We have Jessica Alba. What a way to start off. <laughs> Every guy is dream girl, probably, out there. Um, Kathy Bates. Not so much. Every guy is dream girl, but still a good actress. <laughs> Jessica Biel. Back to the dream girl status. Uh, Bradley Cooper from The Hangover, of course. Eric Dane of uh, whatchamacallit, Gr Grey's Anatomy. Uh, Patrick Dempsey, also of Grey's Anatomy. And guess what Patrick Dempsey plays? A doctor. Ooh, there's a stretch. Hector Elizondo, who I wasn't sure who the hell that was. When I saw the, all the names, I'm like, huh? <laughs> but he was in Princess Bride... Not Princess Bride. Princess Diaries and a, a couple other films. You'll, you might uh, see him when you get see him. You'll, you'll see him when you see him. Yeah, exactly. You might recognize him. Jamie Foxx, Oscar winner. Um... And Gold Digger singer. Jennifer Garner. Um, Topher Grace. Venom himself is in this film. And Venom hooks up with Catwoman in this movie. Oh my god. Uh, Anne Hathaway is here. Carter Jenkins. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, of course. Big Ashton Kutcher fan. Queen Latifah, who I enjoyed in this film a lot. Taylor Lautner, who I could tolerate for a f the few minutes he was in the film. It, he wasn't turning into a wolf. And he, and he actually had his freaking shirt on for once. Oh, my God. Um, George Lopez. Big George Lopez fan. I like him. Shirley MacLaine, a Hall of Famer in the acting community. Emma Roberts with her aunt, Julia Roberts. Oh, good Lord. Bryce Robinson. And, of course, America's sweetheart. Why missing sweetheart? Taylor Swift. So that is your all-star cast, ladies and gentlemen. So, what did Wes Daddy think of it? Well, let's find out. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a pretty satisfying rom-com uh, that I called 2010's He's Just Not That Into You. If you've seen that film, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> That's, as soon as I saw the previews, I'm like, is this a sequel to that movie I didn't like last year? Anyway. Uh, the intertwining stories end up giving certain characters and actors uh, more screen time or more of a storyline, if you will, um, than others. Because obviously they can't give every actor a half an hour. Otherwise it would be whoosh. <laughs> it would be like ten hours long. Um, the main storyline being, of course, Ashton Kutcher and Jennifer Garner's friendship. Ooh, I wonder how that's going to turn out. Um, anyway, I enjoyed some of the stories more than others, so, uh, you know, some are good, some are not so, you know, it's like, eh, I don't really care about these people, so, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Some stories are good, some are okay, I guess. 
Um, so there are some definitely big names in this film, and they definitely give some good performances. Um, definitely some good uh, acting chops in this film, if you will. Um, surprisingly, one of my favorite performances in this film is Taylor Swift. <laughs> And I believe she has the least acting experience of anybody in the film, but she just played a dumb high school girl so well. It reminded me back in the days of Why Missing, you know? <laughs> and I'm sure it reminded her of that. Maybe that's what she based her character off of. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, definitely she was one of my favorites. So, uh, Taylor, do some more acting so we can see some more of you. Um, do, 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 do. The director was Gary Marshall, of course, uh, Pretty Woman and Princess Diaries films, um, and he brings back some of his favorite actors that he worked with in the past, which I think was a pretty good idea. One of the downfalls of this film is it's a little over two hours, or a little under, I'm not sure which, uh, but I think that's a little long for this kind of film. An hour and a half is about where you want to be. But, um, anyway, it was okay, anyway. Uh, the film has some funny moments. I LOL'd a few times. But it ends up being a little bit predictable. You can see, like, halfway through, oh, this person's gonna end up with this person, this person with that person, this person with this person. Um, but, you know, it's likable. But I'm not sure if the guys will like it as much as the gals will. You ladies out there. So, uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, I didn't hate it. Uh, I thought I would... I actually enjoyed it a little more than I thought I would, so... It was okay. It was, uh, you know, mediocre. <laughs> so, therefore, the A-list gives the film... Whoop. <laughs> Valentine's Day. The rating of meh. Taylor Swift's performance, I give you a do it. <laughs> but the film itself gets a meh. You know, um... It's an okay film. If you, if you, you know, it's okay to sit through once. I wouldn't watch it every Valentine's Day or nothing, but it's bearable. You know, like I said, girls, you might enjoy it more than the guys will, but they're making a sequel, by the way. I believe it's a sequel of this. Basically the same thing. It's New Year's Eve, it's going to be called. So, woo-woo, party up for that one. <laughs> Valentine's, by the way, is on HBO, Skinamax, one of those uh, shows, if you want to see it. Also available... I don't know if it's still in the red box or not, but it's uh, video stores everywhere. So, till the next review, till tomorrow, Troop out.